Hello and welcome. I am Sophronia Scott, Director of the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing, and this is Faculty Friday. This is your opportunity to hear from and learn from the amazing faculty that we have waiting for you at the Alma MFA. And today I am delighted to have with us Karen Bender, and I'll tell you a little bit about Karen. Thanks for joining us, Karen. Hey, thanks. Karen E. Bender is the author of two story collections, Refund, which was a finalist for the National Book Award in Fiction and longlisted for the Story Prize. Her collection, The New Order, was also longlisted for the Story Prize, and that was in 2018. She is the author of two novels, Like Normal People, which was a Washington Post Book of the Year and a Los Angeles Times bestseller, and A Town of Empty Rooms. Her fiction has appeared in magazines, including The New Yorker, Granta, Plowshares, The Yale Review, The Harvard Review, Electric Literature, Guernica, and others. And it's also been reprinted in Best American Short Stories, Best American Mystery Stories, and New Stories from the South, The Year's Best. The winner of three Pushcart Prizes, Karen's work has been read at Selected Shorts at Symphony Space by Joanne Woodward and by LeVar Burton on LeVar Burton Reads. She's also received grants from the Rona Jaffe Foundation and the National Endowment for the Arts. And Karen is the fiction editor for a fine literary journal called Scoundrel Time. And one of the things we're, uh, we're going to talk about today is about submitting to literary journals. Is that right, Karen? Yeah, yeah. So what are some of your best tips for submitting to literary journals? Yeah, so um, so one thing to to say is that um, this is this is part of being a writer is writing, you know, getting things finished and then getting it out in the world and um, you know placed and where you can converse with readers. So um, so there are a few things to think about as you're sending out. One is make sure the piece is finished or feels finished because things are not never actually finished you always feel like you can do more work on them but at a certain point you want to you know get to a point where you can send it out um uh you read it over you make sure there's no kind of obvious grammatical errors you know you want it to be you know clean and not you know that that uh, editors are not going to be distracted by any sort of little mistakes um and then the most important thing is reading literary journals to see if your work could be a good fit for them um there's so many literary journals and they have different emphases and different focuses and you want to read it and see does your work feel like it would be a good fit for it um i, I feel like sending to journals is a little bit like dating you know you want to find who is the best you know who's you know the best match you know so i think um reading them and getting to know them is helpful um my thoughts also are you want to send to places that you love where you really want to be part of the magazine. You don't want to send to places where you don't want to be published because they may take it. And then you're kind of in a position where um, you have to say, you know, I don't know, or, you know, or you take and you feel not as not as happy as you might be. So don't send to places you don't want to be. Mm -hmm. um, I would say send to like five places at once. Um, you know, these magazines can take a long time. Um, you have editors that are overworked and you may be doing other things and it can take months. So don't just send to one at a time, send to like five. If you get something accepted, you need to tell the other places um, so that they don't read it. Um, and uh, if you get a rejection, you immediately send out somewhere else. You don't sit around, you know, and, and I also think when you get a nice note from a place, it's a great sign and it, it shows that um, there will be a place for it somewhere else. I think if someone likes it, it means someone else will too. Um, I don't know, any other other thoughts about? I, well, I have a question about the number. So five at a time yeah. seems totally reasonable to me. Yeah. So if you're more. submitting to things that you read and love, that also kind of limits the number. But True. I, like I hear that writers submit to like hundreds of journals. <laughs> How do you do that? And should you do that? That that I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, could you send to hundreds at once? There and I think there are these different um uh you know computer programs where you can send to a lot at once. I don't know. I mean, I know at Scandal Time we get often a lot of pieces that I feel like don't fit at all our theme. You know, our our theme is uh, work that engage with 
engages with the political moment. Um, and so we'll get stories that are fine, but maybe don't do that. And so I think, are, are we on some sort of program where they're just sending out? So I, I, I don't necessarily recommend sending to just a million places. Yeah. yeah. I feel that way too. I, I, I want to know, like you said, I want to really appreciate an acceptance because it is a publication that I yeah. love. So. Right, right. Thank right. you for that, Karen. Oh, sure. And I love literary journals and I hope our listeners will, will take something from this and submit. So yeah. Yeah. And I also say literary journals are read, you know, and you you have a story out there and you can get it published and it can be somewhere small. And then you get a note from a reader and it's like this amazing connection. So I think, you know, get it out there and you will get read. Exactly. Thank you, Karen. Okay. I'm Sophronia Scott. She's Karen Bender. And we are with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. We are currently taking applications for our next residency. You can learn more about us at alma.edu slash MFA. Thank you.